<laughs> Our minds. Ooh, hey, fellas, what's we're up? back again. Everybody yes, listening, yes, we appreciate y'all tuning in. So another riveting, crazy, exceptional episode of Spar Minds. You already know who I am. It's your boy Charlie Hustle, aka Charles Jones. And I'm Sam Little, Mr. Maritime. Mr. Chef, Mr. Main Top. <laughs> well, listen, man. It's been a, it's been an interesting week um, for me down here. Let me put you up on game real quick. Yeah. So, what happened was my wife uh, had essentially got me involved in a double date online, nigga. Like. <laughs> we we have like a Zoom date, right? Shout out to the homies Jordan. Shout out to my sis Candace. But it was like I immediately felt my age. You dig? Like I immediately felt forty years old. I'm like yo, this shit's crazy. We did. I can't shake a hand. I can't be like yo, let me buy you a beer. Like it wasn't that. It was like let's log in. Get the fuck out of here with us nowadays with this shit, dog. <laughs> a Zoom date. A Zoom date. A fucking Zoom double date, my nigga. It was fucking wild. That's hard. We just <laughs> sat there. We had questions. We was drinking wine. Like, it felt totally alien because I'm like, <laughs> like, I'm used to being in somebody's presence. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, to feel that aura. Gonna... Fucking, yo, this world's something else. When you got this, I can't call it, man. So, but anyway, shout them out. Shout out to anybody who's out here. Yo, shout, special shout to y'all who are single. Trying to date in this atmosphere? Fuck out of here, B. <laughs> this shifts. I'm glad I retired when I did, yo. What's good with y'all, man? Nah, nothing, man. Nothing. I'm good, Just man. Cool. Had a good weekend. Went to the beach and stuff. Um, you know what I mean? Was it packed up the there? Board. Yeah, it was. The beach was packed. You know what I mean? Um, people were practicing some social distancing, like as far as like on the beach. You know what I'm saying in general, um, yeah. but it was cool, man. You know what I mean? Me, Riss, um, her daughter, her daughter's friend, Jaquela, and then our Riss's niece went, man. So we had a, we had a good time in Antastic Beach. It was a beautiful day out Sunday. So oh. we we're just gonna get away with the, you know what I mean? With, with the family, just enjoy some time out. You know what I mean? Hey, man, that's that's what life's about, man. Time with the family, you dig? So sir, you know, it can't get no better than that. What about you, little? What you get into? Nothing, absolutely nothing, man. I'm trying to get back into, you know, working out. I mean, as you can see, I got the towel here. So, you know, been doing my little walks around Brockton, stuff like that, just to kind of slowly get myself back into it before I get into Planet Fitness and uh, really bust my ass. Right, but, right, hey, salute. Yeah. Right up. I've been telling you for a long time to get your boy started, but I'm not, you know what I mean? The more weight you lose, the more I seem to gain, nigga. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds funny. That sounds funny. I, I told you. I, I told you what to do. This nigga was like, "Yo, go down to Foxborough Stadium and run the wind sprints." I'm not doing none of that bullshit. Fuck out of here. <laughs> no, nah, nah, but I told you how to ease into it. Just yesterday, I told you how to ease into it. Go do some garden like, work. Go outside, pick up the car. That'll be some good. What are you talking about, <laughs> man? Let's move on with the show, man. Let's move on with the this show. Dude, Fuck out of here. This dude is exaggerating, so, man. So the beauty of the beauty of what we got going on right now is everybody's been tuned in. We're getting the votes in for the rap tournament, and we finally yeah. made it to the finals. Um, and, and who actually do we have in the finals? Do y'all know? Uh, I, I'm, I'm out in the final four. I'm out. We got a Wu song. We got Cream in it. So it's Cream versus Ghetto Boys, right? Yeah, yeah. And I think it, it was scenario. It was scenario. Unless unless Ghetto Boys made a a few votes, scenario was up last. Oh, night oh were they really? Mm. Scenario was up. Okay. Wow, scenario. So at, by the time we post this video, we would have already put that finals matchup up. Um, so y'all got still got some time more tonight to get those votes in, etc., mm -hmm. etc. But I hope scenario don't make the chip. They don't. They definitely yeah. don't belong. So. 
scenario for the upset. What do you mean they don't belong? That's that. Yo, scenario is a. That's a fun song, cause that's a fun they, song. They they killed that. Buster killed that. Yes, Buster, yes. But verse is like legendary on that song. Are you I, kidding me? I promise you, it's not better than mine playing tricks on me. Cut it out. Cut it out. I promise Buster, you, it's not better. Buster's verse versus yeah. what? Versus faces versus versus faces, faces versus. versus. One. I'm not taking. I'm not taking bus. I'm not taking bus. You can you can debate that one right there. Yeah, I mean, you can debate that one right there. Scenario for the upset, way, cause it's not an upset. It's a two and a three. I, it's an upset. It's an upset. It's a three, dog. It's an upset. If you're a lower seed. A lower seed winning is always an upset. I don't care if it's a one <laughs> yeah, or a two. Facts, that's true. What are you talking about, fam? Yeah, that's oh, facts. Oh, question, right? Real quick, we, we, we haven't even got the sports yet. <laughs> yes. what, what seed are the Lakers? What seed are the Lakers? What a one I don't even... Are they? In the West, in the West, yes. they're a one seed, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Overall, the, two seed. Because I think the Bucks got the, the best Bucks record. The Bucks are better, right. Right. And I'm just talking about our West. Yeah. And the Clippers are number two, right? Clippers yeah. are two seed. So if the Clippers beat the Lakers, you telling me that's an upset? That's an upset. It, it's you an upset. You, 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 beat upset. upset. you beat the number one seed. You beat the number one seed in your bracket. You guys <laughs> are outside of your minds if you think so, that is an upset. By definition. Play it back, Steve. No. I, I'm watching the upset right now. No, no, that's an upset. That's an upset. What what sideline cancer did the other day to um overseas elite? That's an uh, a two a twenty two seed beating a two seed. That's an upset. So as as you hear man talking about, he's talking about uh the TBT basketball tournament. So. Yeah. Yes, so yes. right now they're playing the chip right now on ESPN. Now remember we shoot these episodes on Tuesday nights. We air them to y'all on Wednesday. So um, as we're happening right now, the finals is going on. So we might already know the yeah. result. But tell me more about this league. Tell me more about what I don't know about it. So the TBT started, I want to say maybe like 2014. Um, mm-hmm. The group of people is actually from out here because uh, I believe they're from. Barstool Sports or Barstool.com, yeah, yeah, yeah. whatever the mm. case may be, right? Okay, so yeah, I think it, it was something that started out where like it was no it was no entry fee for it. You had to get enough votes, like you had yeah. to have like fans vote for your team, and and that's how your team would get picked to be a part of the tournament is based on um the votes. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And um, we had a couple but, of teams from out here that went the first year, wasn't it? We had uh. My boys, uh, I mean, you had Chip, you know, BG. BG went BG, out there, BG if I'm not mistaken. One, BG was in it one year. And, um, and, and my man, Aunt Saunders and them uh, for City, right? City team was in it. Yeah, yeah, they actually lost to the Notre Dame team that ended up winning the entire thing. Yeah, you know yeah. And so it's, it's usually comprised sometimes, Chuck, of like, um, like college alums. Like uh, Syracuse yeah. had a team. Obviously, um, the Marquette team is, is in the championship. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So... That's the dope thing, you know, but the, the thing is you can't be um, signed to an NBA team at the time. Gotcha. You cannot yeah. be signed to an NBA team. That's how Joe Johnson was able to play. Jared Sullinger played with you. You had so many different guys that were pros that's played in the TBT. Yeah. And you think about it, it's because, like, 10 guys, maybe, depending on how many guys you have, and two coaches, you get to split a million dollars. Yeah. Like, also, it's a million buck payout. Yeah. Uh, did it go up this year? Did huh? it go up this year? Did it go up it, this year? No, I felt like it, it just stayed at a million. It was oh, I could okay. have sworn it was higher last year. Maybe I'm mistaken. I for, thought it was for some reason I thought it was two million. Yeah, last yeah. year. Right. Okay, and okay. This year, I think maybe due to the pandemic or whatever the case would be, it went yeah. down to a million. But again, a million to split between you're talking twelve people, Max? That's mm. crazy, bro. Yeah, that's dope. No, that's so dope. like four for like four games? Yeah. That's crazy. That's incredible. That's, that's crazy. So yeah, you get voted on. You can't anybody just can't place a team in. You have to have fans that vote you on. And then once you get a certain number of votes, you get a team, dope uniforms. It's crazy. And even though they're not playing in front of a crowd, the games are still really good, still competitive. Because that game with sideline cancer on Sunday was crazy. Crazy ending a three ball to win the game. 
Yeah. Because just like the All Star in the in in the NBA in the All Star game actually jacked their format with you having to reach a certain number to win the game. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The NBA in the All Star game actually jacked that format from the TBT wow. for. So TBT is pretty pretty dope. Pretty yeah. pretty dope tournament. Dude, and you know, like that monetary gift at the end, that's that's super nice for these guys. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. And I think they uh, they donate what maybe a hundred thousand to a certain charity. Each one of them have certain charities that they also mm -hmm. donate money to. Even better, nice. Yes. Even better. Yeah, that's just dope, man. It's it's a it's a national tournament. Um, no, it's not a national tournament. It's um, what do you mean national in terms? I heard of... you mentioned Marquette, Syracuse. There were teams out of Boston, so I just figured it was a national tournament. The teams from all. Oh across. yes. Oh yes. yeah 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 yeah. Yes. Okay. Because before they had like different sites that they were playing at, um, you know, all across the country. So yeah, but I, I'm not sure if they went all across the country this year. They might have just stayed in one spot. And um, I believe it was only it was only 24 teams this year, and it's usually more teams than that. But I just think with everything that happened, of course. And then, um, yeah. and then I heard um, some players from other teams had tested positive for COVID, and so a bunch of that stuff was going on. Yeah, COVID, man, COVID to. <laughs> Yeah, perfect and everything. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Everything. Shout out to the TBT. That's legendary. Um, and yes, then obviously they're having players who are contracting the COVID, slowing down their progress. As is the NBA. I mean, we just waking up to the news wire where Russ Westbrook, one of my favorite players, has now contacted the uh, the COVID nineteen as well. Um, as well as you know Harrison Barnes, another guy that we you know, a pretty significant player in the league. So yeah. you know, our, our hearts, our hearts, and prayers go out to those guys that they get better. Um, mm -hmm. You know, there's rumors about some other megastar players may have contracted this. We'll keep our, keep our ear to the streets, and if that comes yeah, yeah. fruition, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, just found out Michael Beasley actually left the bubble. I don't know if he'll be returning, but I know he left today. God damn it, Michael Beasley! So, so for y'all who may not be familiar with Michael Beasley, yeah. Michael Beasley was like. I don't know like, if these fellas will agree with me, but this dude was ultra skilled coming out of Kansas stud. State. He was absolutely yes. beast coming out of Kansas State. Came yes. out of college the same year Derrick Rose did, to give you some time of perspective, right? Yep. Um, and there was some debate that Michael Beasley should have went number one, not Derrick Rose, right? So, yeah. and now, but throughout his entire, he played for at least five teams in his career, right? And he's just Everybody been a, a knucklehead throughout his tenure in the league. Like, he just does crazy things. Um, and you know, just teams that get tired of his antics, and so now I don't even know what's up with this cat again. He was unemployed before this. Did they literally yeah. just signed him to go to Orlando for this bubble? You know, to, to come to play. Yeah, the they, they, they did maybe a week or two ago, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. Yeah. 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 yeah, it was it was for the Brooklyn Nets team that we've been talking about. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be right. without Dinwiddie, gonna be without Kyrie, obviously they're without Durant. So this one to feel the team. So they said, well, let's yeah. go give Beasley a chance. The guy is skilled. Let's go give yeah. him a shot. And then he, you know, he does something like this. What was the? I can't imagine there was a log, there was a logical reason why he left the bubble. No, it, it doesn't say it just yet. Um, I'm pretty sure it'll come out later on. Um, you know, we'll figure it out. Um, we'll probably be sure to figure out whether or not he's gonna come back. Uh, I don't know. I he's don't the know. kind of nigga that would leave the bubble to go get some weed. Like he's that kind of nigga. That, you know what I mean? That, that's probably what he did. That's probably what he did too. <laughs> Jesus, I hope not. Yeah, Beasley, second pick in the draft. Yeah, absolutely. Again, yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, the guy broke all kinds of records in the Big oh. 12. The stuff with Kevin Durant and, I mean, like, elite-level players. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, yeah, that's just one of those things where you just – you can't put your finger on Beasley and why someone that talented, that skilled – I mean, the guy is a bucket. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But, he, he definitely um, can score. Yeah, Defense yeah. is a different thing. Defense sucks, but he can definitely score. And, he's, and he's that's definitely what's an NBA funny player. about that is that's the reason why he ended up at K-State, because he was doing a whole bunch of knucklehead shit. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, him yeah. and Durant was like childhood friends. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, and Durant got the pick where he was going. You know what I mean? And meanwhile, this dude lost two scholarships and ended, ended up at K-State. And mm. then was down there putting up forty and twenty every other night. Um, so he he broke all kinds of record. In, he was in he was an absolute well. beast, absolute like scoring beast. and all that shit, scoring, rebounding, rebounding, like, yeah, everything. He did, he did everything on the court. Though. 
Yeah. No question. I hate you to know. hear stories like this. You know, guys who they got the whole world in their hand. You dig what I mean? Um, there's another guy like that too. Uh, that wide receiver, Josh Gordon. Oh man. Where they just always mixed up in some shit, man. If you just played the sport that you loved, you would you'd be a Hall of Famer. But you know, but guys get his, up another shit. his issue was weed. I mean, I think the last issue he had though, I think it might have been laced with some shit. Um, but. Uh, I don't know. I mean, he's a great talent, though. Great. Either talent. way, we shout to Beasley, man. You know, right? Yeah. A brother probably just trying to trying to make his way through the world. He's young still, so salute to him. We hope he gets gets right. Whatever the reason was, he left the bubble. We hope it's valuable enough to him that he's willing to risk that opportunity. So we hope he lands on his feet, man. We hope he lands on his feet. It, it's amazing that he still keeps getting these shots because he's that good. It's amazing because he is that good. It's you yeah. know what I mean. So, Talent will always get you opportunities. Always. Definitely. Always. Very, very true. Ladies, if you give incredible head, you will always get opportunities to give incredible head. That's just the, you know, it's just, it's going to be one of those things. Like, mm. keep the talent. That's what we'll focus Church. on talent. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, um, <laughs> main. Oh, before we do that, uh, real quick, salute to the homie Chris Jones, Kansas City Chiefs. So last time we talked to y'all, we told y'all the Chiefs gave Patrick Mahomes $100 million, right? Well, now they opened the checkbook up again and gave the homie Chris Jones another $85 million over four years, $60 million guaranteed. So salute to him. He's one of the – if he's probably the second, if not the third, best D-tackle in football behind Aaron Donald and probably DeForest Buckner out in San Fran. So all those mm. guys are in that conversation. So salute to that homie for making that money. Um, okay. You know, yeah, yeah salute, salute. Yeah, that, that's 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 legendary generational wealth. So right. you know, salute right. to that. Um, main Bleacher Report, they're the top 100 in the NBA. Talk to me about it. Oh boy! So <laughs> this list has been making its way um, around. Uh, a couple notables is that. Um, Russell Westbrook was ranked 20. Bullshit. Bullshit. West, Westbrook? Was ranked 22-23. That's bullshit. And Chris Middleton. <laughs> Chris Middleton. Listen. Chris Middleton, I believe, was ranked number Ten or number two. Get 12? the fuck oh, out of here! So we don't yeah, yeah, no yeah, time. yeah. It's yeah. stupid. This is just that. That doesn't make any sense. Chris but, Middleton. Come on, man. Yo, so on, yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it was a debate because it's um, I believe Jason Tatum from the Celtics was also ranked higher than um, Russell Westbrook. And so I saw people post about that, and it's like, yo, listen, let's be clear for a second. I'm Boston. Yeah. Love Boston. Die hard Boston. I'm not stupid, okay? Russell Westbrook is better than Jason Tatum, and he's better than Chris Middleton, and it's not even up for debate with me. Like, yeah. not close. Stop it. He, he, he may not be more skilled, but he is better. Right, right. Yeah. Well, it, just right now he's better. Again. What do you mean yeah. he's not more skilled? First of all, for first and foremost, skill-wise, fundamental? Nah, I think, you know, I would have to give it to Tatum. But Westbrook? Ah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But, Tatum is more skilled than Russell yeah. Westbrook. Yeah, I, I believe so. Yeah, I, I believe so. He can. I, I think he can do a lot more. No, no, no. Yeah, you don't believe? Me. <laughs> yeah, it's okay for you to be wrong. It's, it won't be the first time. It won't be the last. Don't, don't, don't worry. I, I, it's all right. They're both great yeah. players. They're both great players. But I do think you know Tatum's more skilled. That's that's childish. <laughs> that's, 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 that's that's ridiculous. So, so the the top five, the top the top five. Now you know we're not going. We obviously we can't go through the whole line. Okay. The top five. While I in 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 a lot of stuff is also based on injuries and stuff like that because this is ranking for this season, and so a lot of key guys, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, you know, uh, Clay Thompson, Kyrie Irving, all those guys are hurt. So mm-hmm. the top five. Number five, I'll start from the, the bottom and work my way up. Number five is Luka Doncic, a.k.a. Luka Brazi. 
uh, Dallas Mavericks, um, Sensation. Yeah. I don't – I mean – He's a stud. He belongs in the conversation. He, he, he's a stud, but not top five. Uh, yeah. he, it's, he, you can, uh, you know, I wouldn't. He, he, he kick, he kick I wouldn't be mad at nobody for picking that. Like yeah. I said, Luca yeah. has yeah. done some amazing things in his first two years in the league. Um, and I'll be honest, you know, I did not know he was going to be this good, this fast. The way that he is, I, I second that. I, I second that. And, and in fact, I used to torch. I torched him all pre-draft. I didn't even think he was going to be this good at all. Well, the problem, the thing is, is that those Euro guys very rarely pan out. You know what I mean? Thank you, Princess. They very, very rarely pan out. You know what I mean? It's always. I mean, we we can go down a laundry list of guys who didn't pan out coming over from Europe, right? And, and generally, they're not the athletes that we have here in the NBA. But Luther mm-hmm. somehow has, again, he's not the athlete either, but somehow he is so skilled that it's translating to un- un- unprecedented. More, more skilled than West, um, Russell Westbrook, too. No, he's not. Definitely. Definitely more, he is. Yeah, more skilled? More, first of all, Definitely. he's doing all this without the athleticism. Yeah, he's definitely more skilled than Russell Westbrook. He's more skilled. Yeah, definitely. I disagree with that. <laughs> I think he's more skilled than Tatum, but he's not more skilled than Russell Westbrook. I mean, he's more skilled than both of them. Main, but... main, just by comparison, as you move forward down your list, who was number six? Who was left off the top five? Before you go to uh, number four, I just want to know who was left off. I would have to look. I, I, I only focused on the top. Five. Okay, okay, okay. Pardon okay. me. Okay. okay. All right. So Luca's at five. We good. Luca, top five. Number four, the beard. The beard. Okay. The beard. You know, big game James um, Harden. Yeah. Okay. It's again, it's, you know, it's, it's subject of whether he, where you have him ranked in your top five, but it's, you know, it's, it's hard. And the only thing I'll say with Harden sometimes is sometimes he can be a little, you don't like to, you like to watch him, but you don't like to watch him. Because of how he plays a little bit, so much dribble, dribble, iso, dribble, dribble, iso. You know what I'm saying? Even though they play a little bit different now that they've went totally small with him and Westbrook. But yeah. again, you know, Harden was putting up unbelievable numbers in that system. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you know, you can't. I mean, shit. If you can shoot 40 times a game, I mean, you better be putting up some points. I I don't understand why guys hate Harden now but loved Mike in 85. Mike in 85 was doing the same shit. Um, People were still complaining about Mike in 85 also. But Mike also didn't have great core. I mean, what, he had Woolrich and uh, who else did he have over there? Oakley. He had – Oakley's not a scorer. But uh, he did have another um, scorer over there. He did have another guy. I just can't think of his name right now. Um, On those early teams? No. Yeah, on that early team, it was two scores over there. It was um him and Woolrich, and there was another guy that could score. Um, I ju- I just can't get his name at the moment. Nah, it was Thies. Gervin, but Gervin was late in his career. Yeah, nah, it wasn't Reggie, Gervin. Reggie Thies too. Reggie Thies was over there too. But Reggie was, Thies like, was there. Yeah. I feel like yeah. that was late in his um. I feel like it was late in his career. The, the the problem is, I guess, like, is that Harden didn't defend like Jordan. Right. You yeah. Know, he didn't defend right. like Jordan. So that mm-hmm. was your that's your thing because you gotta remember in I wanna say it's eighty eight or something, Mike got like defensive player of the year and MVP or something to that effect. You know what I'm saying? Like it's been a long time for a guard was getting defensive player of the year. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's when Harden he plays it better, but that's not his strong suit. Like he'll make the effort to play a little bit better, but eh, defense ain't really his strong suit. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But you know, you can make it. So, all right, we're going to roll up. Number three. Number three on this list is we have the claw. Kawhi. Kawhi. You know what I'm saying? I, I can Kawhi fuck with Leonard. that. Um, you know, I love Kawhi Leonard. I'm a, I've yeah. been a big Kawhi Leonard fan for the longest time. Um, just, I it, it, it mean, he, yeah, he's in my top three players in the league. No question. Yeah. Easily, and you could fluctuate that however, you know what I'm saying, you, you want to. I mean, he's definitely top five. Durant being in the list, 
will kind of make it more of a an argument right. for his place in right. there. But he's definitely top five. Yeah. Okay. Um, I got no number two. It, yeah, number two is the king. Oh um, shit! You know, LeBron, Ramon James. So know we know who saying? number one is. Uh-huh. Okay. Drew it? Okay. You know. Yeah. And, but, you know what I'm saying? Like, LeBron, remember, LeBron 34 in his late career. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, and he's that's still, still a feat. doing amazing things. Yes, yes. Le- LeBron is still doing amazing things. He's late in his career. Like, I wonder, you know what I wonder why he doesn't go ridiculous. one. He, I believe LeBron is one. I, I believe yeah, LeBron is I one. I, I really do. Against the person that is number one, now that I kind of know now, I, yeah. Yeah, I, th- yeah. I think LeBron's one. We'll see. Yeah, I, I really do. And number one, I mean, obviously, it's no, it's no secret now. It's yeah. the freak. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm sorry. The freak is number one. The freak is number one. The freak is the best player in the NBA right now. The freak is the best player. You know what I mean? It's, you know, like, the Bucks are number one for a reason. Yeah. He was on his way to a second MVP in a row. Was he? You know what I'm saying? I believe so. I don't I don't the Bucks okay, the Bucks had a number one record and he was the best player on the best team, which usually they've kind of altered it throughout the years, but usually the MVP would be for the best player on the best team. Again, I guess, I guess I would still debate that it's LeBron. So yeah, you absolutely can still debate that it's LeBron. I mean, how many assists is LeBron averaging? He's in double digits. Double digits. Right? Oh yeah, double digits. He was second in the league. When and, he was... and this is at what 35, 34? This, this is not the LeBron hasn't done before. I mean, in no, terms of, it, it... in terms of being the passer and a facilitator, I think with the Lakers this you know this year and maybe the previous, he's just taken more of that point guard point forward role um to a thing but my thing why i would give the freak the edge is that on defense right now the freak is a better defensive player than lebron is yeah no he is he is i agree i agree i agree defensive player so you know what i'm saying that's what it's based on you know i mean for for me personally and why i would say yeah the freak is the best player man like it's no reason it's no accident the bucks are number one it's no accident they're the number one team uh, or in the top five offensively, defensively. You know what I mean? Like, See, and I just wonder how much of that credit we're giving to to Giannis instead of giving that credit to the coach. Because, I mean, I think it's the coaching staff to get that defensive game plan set. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, 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 no. But still, that's a great defensive team, though. They, the, them, you them boys, and they you all, hit the nail on the head. It's a great defensive team. That's a great team. defensive team. Correct. Yes. We're not saying he's a, it's not he's Giannis. It's not like Kawhi in Toronto, what, two years ago, where he was carrying them defensively. No, no, no. That stop, stop. Team that team was a great defensive up. team also. That was a good defensive team also. Kyle Lowry's Saka? defender? That's what we're doing right now? Yeah. Kyle yes. Lowry? Kyle, Kyle, Kyle Lowry's tough. I don't know what you're talking about. Kyle's tough. He, may be not, he might not be the greatest defender at the guard spot, but he's a, he's a tough guard. He, this Bucks team has defenders one through eight. That Toronto team did not. No. Uh, they they lost one. Um, what was the shooting guard out from last year? Uh, that moved Brogdon. on. Yeah, and Brogdon. Brogdon, Brogdon into the pace. You, you know what this list brings to mind, man? This Brogdon list tells me done. that Bleacher Report says that Luka Doncic at five is better than Anthony Davis. Yes. I believe so, too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Luca has done a little, probably a little bit more getting his team to the playoffs than AD's ever done getting his team to the playoffs. That's childish. No, nah, I know it's not. Luca's playing next to a fucking all star and Chris Dapp's Porzingis. Anthony Davis is playing with me, you, and Jermaine. Cut it out. <laughs> he had Jeru, he had Jeru Holiday, who, who was also an all star. Yes. Underrated. Drew Holiday is good as Kristaps Porzingis. No, no, we just you threw out the All Star word. Yeah, 
That's all we played on. You threw the All Star word out there, so that's what I just rely back. Well, he had an All Star too. Drew Holiday was an All Star. There's a difference between a perennial All Star and a nigga who happened to make the team. Like that's that's what Drew. Is. <laughs> same, Stop it. Cut same it out. Same, same thing with Porzingis. Porzingis will be there for the next ten years. He'll be an All Star. Actually, has Porzingis ever even made an All Star game before? No. He made last year, didn't he? No, he, he did. He was hurt, was he? Porzingis did not make the All Star team last year. No. Mm. Nope. I'll so check. He's not a perennial. I'll yeah, check. check. Yeah, we'll, we'll get back on it. We'll get we'll get back on that. Uh, we'll get back. Oh, um, and also getting back on some. Beasley actually got him. Uh, he's infected with the virus, so that's why he left the bubble. Oh, so that's why he left. See, and part of me, I'm calling him a knucklehead. See how Chuck no, no, no. relax. No, no, that's that's fine. That's fine. I mean, I mean, he's, it, it, you know, he, he's prone to do stuff like that. Well, he's prone to him. Man. We'll, it it, like it just that. flashed up here. Hopefully, he um he gets right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Get the situation settled. Um, Word up. we got a topic today. Uh-huh. Um, but before we jump into that, I want to take y'all out west real quick with some news that was happening out in California. So we were talking about how a lot of the cities, a lot of big cities and states are doing the um the Black Lives Matter painting murals in the streets in yellow as a sign of support for for the movement. Um. And I was on social media recently, um, where there was a couple, and I, they're not, they're not. It doesn't say if they're a couple or not. Just says there's a man and a woman. Um, but there was a man and a woman in Martinez, California, um, who, outside of a courthouse, brought a can of black paint, a paint roller, and decided to paint over the Black Lives Matter mural that was in the middle of the street, right? So while this was happening, there was a third guy there in a pickup truck telling people to stay away, right? Okay. Around them were a group of bystanders with cameras saying, hey, you shouldn't do this. What are you doing, right? Meanwhile, oh, <laughs> meanwhile, the man and the woman with the paint can who surprise are white, right? Were like, I don't give a fuck about what none of y'all are saying. You can keep talking. My action is to cover up this mural, right? So they, they don't give a shit about all these lectures and long talks. They out there and they're getting what they said they was going to get done, done, right? That's what's yeah. happened here. Well, mm-hmm. so then a couple of days after that took place, the authorities went to CNN and saying, hey, we're actively looking for these two people, right? That's what the authorities said. <laughs> okay. Right? A couple of days later, these two individuals were found, right? And they were charged with misdemeanor vandalism, including a hate crime. So let me explain to you what happened with white social media. Unless you want to take a guess, because we can can certainly make this an interactive thing. (laughs) No guess? We want justice. Uh, I don't want no parts of this. They got got pitchforks, right? And, and they have signs saying that this is a travesty. And they, <laughs> this is a, a, a fucking a disgrace. This is a sham. And it's a mockery. It's a shamaker. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and a nice twist here. <laughs> these, these two individuals, not the third guy who had the truck keeping people away. He didn't get charged. Just these two people with the pain, right? <laughs> They're, they could receive up to a year in jail if convicted. If. Hmm. If convicted, right? So that's right, nice. right, right. Keep it words. all sounds good, right? Sounds dope. A year in jail, give it to them. Throw the book at them. Yeah, they ain't going to be convicted, bro. Nah. They ain't going to be convicted. Nope. If anything, some know. probation. Correct. So right. they went out here. They painted over a Black Lives Black Lives Matter mural. Got arrested for standing up for their beliefs, and they're gonna walk away scot free. Yep. And everybody on social media who was like, "This is a disgrace. This is a, a sham." They're all gonna be right, and they're gonna rub it in your face forever, right? So I have a question. So if I was to go downtown and paint 
over one of these statues or something, you think I'll get off lightly? They would absolutely throw you under the bed, under the under the jail. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Okay. And they'll throw in a manslaughter charge just because you look like a motherfucker who, who might have possibly killed somebody as you were painting over a mural. Oh. <laughs> okay, as long as we're all clear. That's that's news in America. Um but Ooh. but but I think as we laugh and joke about it, there is obviously a disconnect. There's obviously a a, a swaying of how we are judged here versus right. how um these people who have committed a crime by the book of the law and how they're going to be judged and how they're going to be treated after committing that crime. Whether you think it's a crime or not, it's a crime. It's on the books, right? You can't just say it's not a crime because it doesn't fit your agenda. Like, they committed a crime. So, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, that's just the world that we live in. And so we always want to hear on Spar Our Minds, bring y'all some news. Um, and then not only just bring you the news, but also let you know about the twists and turns that might be happening with that news. Like, this is not just an open and shut case. Like, if they had served a year in jail, we would just be like, okay, that's that's just deserved. That's justice. That's how it's supposed to work. You commit a crime, you do the jail time. But that's not necessarily how it works with certain citizens of this country. So this is just another example of it. I'm sure we'll bring you more as time goes on. Um, so I, I got to ask Chuck for y'all, man. How, how about it? Y'all ready for it? Hey, let's jump into it. Let's do it. So, this is from a dude's perspective. Um, let me read it to you, and then I'll wrap around and we'll do our regular thing. Um, okay. and then obviously, for y'all watching, man, if you got if you feel some way about the topic, definitely jump in those comments and hit us up and let you know how you feel about. Let us know how you feel about that. So, um, okay, here we go. It says, uh, Chuck, I've been dating a great woman for about three years now. I've decided okay. that she is the one for me, and I propose to her. Slow. Absolutely. Of course, she said yes. We're due to be married next summer. The problem is, I bought a condo about 10 years ago. <laughs> my ex used to live here with me, but she moved out when we broke up, prior to me meeting my now fiancé. My fiancé says she wouldn't feel right living in the apartment I shared with another woman. And she wants me to sell it. Do I have to sell this condo? Yes or no? What are your thoughts? She needs to grow up. She needs to grow up. Listen, if I took away and stopped doing everything I did with an ex, I'd probably be going nowhere. Yeah. I mean, like, come on. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, I got favorite restaurants that I've taken her to. I mean, am I supposed to stop going there? Yeah. Uh, vacation places. I mean, listen, she's no longer with me. Let's move on. This is my spot. Let's move on. Man, what you think, brother? I mean, I used to fucking share this dick with my ex. Excuse my language, but I'm sharing with you now. I didn't know you was gonna go there, man. I, I'm sorry, fellas. I don't mean to come. I don't mean to come off so hard. See, normally I'm, I'm the one that said that kind of crazy shit. I, I, I would have figured you would have said something like this. Right, right. Wifey, wifey hooked me up with a with a nice. Yeah, but don't do it. This, right. this she motherfucker here. Yeah. She got me a little in my element. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? But no, like I'm saying, if you want to, like, let's let's rearrange the apartment. Let's let's design it different. Let's you know, come bring your people in and, yo, let's let's put your twist on it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But at the end of the day, we're not doing that. That's immature. Like, let's, let's, let's stop it. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. like if I had a house and I got divorced and you're coming in to live with me, should I not? Should I just sell the house and get a new house? You know what I mean? Like, come on, man, seriously. Because every place yeah. you done came over to as a guy, believe me, there was some other nigga that was rocking in that bed before you got there. Okay, yeah. so let's just let's just call a spade a spade and be honest. Right? I'm in my Charles Jones mode right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, come, on, man, come on, come on. Cut this shit. Grow up. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said again, I used to share this thing with her. You know what I mean? And so what now? You don't want me to share this thing with you because I used to share with her too? Like, knock it off. Grow up. As Chuck would say, stop being childish. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, um, yeah, let's let's move on. But let, on. Let, let, Chuck, let's throw it at you. <laughs> I mean, uh, <laughs> listen, listen. So y'all know me. Y'all know y'all know how. Like I, I can easily call somebody childish in the hurry upness, right? Yeah. I don't know if this is one of those cases though, brother. Like I think I'm a believer in every relationship deserves a fresh start. I'm I'm very I'm a believer in that, right? Um and because he's taken the step here to decide to marry this young lady, right? I think um, so long as he's not losing any monetary value in selling this condo, let's say he sells the condo and buys them a fresh one, I don't see I don't see the, the harm in doing so if because his job as a man in a relationship is to make sure his lady is ultimately happy with whatever decisions that he makes. That's that's your role as head of household. You have to take her feelings into consideration. We as a man may think that's childish. But if you're not taking her emotions in, into consideration, you're not doing your job as a man. So you got to prioritize that and say, listen, all right, I'm going to sell this condo for $400,000. i will buy another one in, you know, in the same neighborhood, the next floor down, the next floor up. Who gives a fuck, right? But now it gives her that peace of mind. Now, baby, we can go ahead and we can start our journey together, brand new from scratch. And now we can go ahead and move from there. So, Man, man, I'm, I'm going to interrupt him right now. Yeah, because mm-hmm. I, I really want to tell him to get the fuck out of here. Uh, but I understand this is the guy that previous shows that people have been watching also said, you know, he told his wife to get rid of all the old bags. I'll buy you some new ones. So I, I, I see where that's, he's going. Yeah, yeah, so I, I understand. I see where, you know, I'm consistent, I, I get brother. It. No, you're that's consistent. consistent. He's, consistent. He's, consistent. He's, he's consistent. He's he's consistent. So, uh, you know. I let's, salute, let's, but get y'all the fuck out of let's here. Build. <laughs> <laughs> let's build brand new. Let's build brand new, baby. Me and you. I, I mean, again, now, here the key is this. As long as I'm not losing money on the real estate, because this is a real estate venture. Let's, yeah. not, let's not confuse it for anything else. So mm-hmm. as long as I'm able to flip that into an equal or greater opportunity on the real estate side, what do you, what do you lose by doing well, what if? But what if you're losing by doing this? Yeah, every percent that, so you can answer this. What, what if you're losing by this? You still gonna make that same thing because that ain't gonna make you happy to be losing something. Um, uh, no, well, you gain a relationship. You gain. Right? You see, it, listen. You're making me make some hard choices here. But you gain but, a relationship regardless. Are we really acting like? No, no, no. I, yeah, you totally gain a relationship <laughs> regardless. But I think, I think what you do is you gain her trust that you take her emotions at a very high regard. That's all. That's what you gain there. And that's invaluable. You can also be setting yourself a failure by doing that also. You could. But you hope he's marrying the right lady. That's what you hope. Right. Because the car I'm picking up is a car that I, I used to pick my ex up in or whatever the case would be. So I got to get a new car and change my... You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Yeah. But, I got um, I got rid of her car too, little. Just if you wanted to be clear, we got rid of that I, old shit. I, we we know, I know. We did I know. That. Yeah, I don't. He, that nigga sat in this car. Get this car the fuck out of here. I, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm hip. You're very consistent. Don't it's worry. Impo- yeah. It's important to <laughs> where you can start brand new because fellas, we've been a victim for far too long of a woman who's who doesn't want to give you a clean slate, right? Women who are bringing shit in and they have this kind of baggage, these kind of ideas already pre-installed when all we want is a clean slate. Well, this is a perfect example of that. And I, and mm-hmm. you know me, Maine. I'm an advocate of leaving gender roles separate, right? Don't mix shit up, right? But in this <laughs> rare case, it, yeah, works, we it works for either side. Like, I think that... Get the fuck out of here. You're picking and choosing, cuz. Get the fuck out of here. No, no, he definitely he, is. Yo, he definitely he, is. Yeah, it's a weird case. He's absolutely picking and choosing. Get Charles Jones, my brother, the author, the pen. Get him the fuck out of here. Don't get him the fuck out of here. What, what, what's this putting that, what's this putting that cup of yours, cuz? Nah, this, this is just some more like, I'm, come on, man. Come on, man. This is, it's just, it's just the opportunity to start fresh, 
keep the situation right. Like, I'm telling my girl, baby, I'm invested in you totally. If anything in the history of life makes you feel a way, you let me know and I'll resolve that. And this is just an example of that. And so my job is just to make sure she no longer feels a way about this. This ain't this ain't motherfucking this ain't motherfucking curtains. You dig? This ain't that. This is this is a big situation, and I want to make sure I take that into heart. Like whatever 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 makes her feel uncomfortable, let's fix it and move on. Okay. 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 I mean, nothing wrong I, with that. I ain't mad at that, but like I said, this is the first time when you play this gender role reverse thing, it, and now you playing for it leverage wise to get to your angle. I, I know. I, you I, 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 I know. Because he because he hit me yesterday. I mean, the last what last episode with it? Don't flip it, Sam. Yeah. I right. Got it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we, we ain't gonna talk about that shit with you too. Yeah, that's a whole school, different yeah. situation, man. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 that's yeah. far mind exclusive content found only on YouTube. That's you can find something like that. Man. Yes, yes. Please, please, please check us out. <laughs> Follow us, subscribe. <laughs> no, nah, listen. This will be this will be the first and probably last time you ever hear me say that. But we we can't drag these chicks for not giving us a clean slate, and then at the same time not being able to provide one when her emotions yeah. call for one here. So, no, I'm hip. I'm hip. I'm hip. I'm hip. I, I'm just... Scenario is like, different. This is a house and a condo. This ain't like a personalized gift from someone directly like you mentioned before with the bags. This isn't that. This is different. You know what I'm saying? This is just a place... I, I clearly still own this place. So this was my spot. This is someone I used to just date before you. So mm -hmm. that would be like everything that you had when you got with a chick, right? You got to get rid of it now because you're dating someone else. Like everything you got, you, <clears> if <throat> another chick bought it with her kid, you got to get rid of all of that. You know what I mean? Because he wasn't, you know, emotionally, I think, you know, that those T-shirts that you got, <laughs> she gave them to you. And, you know, I feel a certain way. And let me buy you some T-shirts. You know what I'm saying? Like, get, get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. Like, what, come on. What, it's not, I, why is that a problem? It's not, I don't feel like it's that deep. It, it's that, this is a house. This is a condo. I get the clean slate um, part. But, again, if you're losing from it, which is also a flip side to it. You painted it one way that you're gaining from it. So of course, in that situation, you're gaining something from. Yeah, it makes sense to go again in the scenario in which you're losing from it, and it's all about just to appease this woman. And you know what I mean? Like, and I'm all for making my lady happy. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But she rides with me in my car. My ex used to be in the car with me too, so I gotta get a new car. Because my ex drove in the car with you, like I'm sure the car I drive, her ex drove her car up in the car with us. So I say, yo, I don't want to ride in this car no more because your ex used to live with you in this car. Yeah, like, yeah. Come on, too man. much. I, it's I, just I too know. much. I like once you start doing that, bending over that way, then you're gonna be bending over for everything. Like you know yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. This coat, this pink coat, my ex bought me. Like, so I don't mind. I don't mind admitting that I'm probably in the low eighty percent in terms of pettiness, right? I'm probably in the low eighty percent. You know, maybe maybe seventy nine, right? On a good day, right? Yeah, I, I actually rank you high. Is he higher than so, me? I, I so, thought I was no, Mr. Petty. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You're like platinum level pettiness. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm just listen, like the entry gotta... entry level. Like, come yeah, on. Yeah. Nah, you're nowhere near entry level, but but, but with that said, like <laughs> with you're that said, level. fuck out of here. <laughs> but, but, but I think you know what? I think what women hold valuable that that we don't. Women hold energy, energy in a space, aura, karma. They hold all that shit in a very hard high, high regard. Well, me, we may not hold that as a higher regard as they do, right? So they may walk into a space and feel an energy that's like, oh, this energy's off. And we'll be like, bitch, what are you talking about? You know what I mean? And so, again, my job is to manage that and be like, okay, well, how, how can I get you to feel more uncomfortable? How can I get mm. you to feel better? You know what I mean? If she's like, no, this area. Listen, I know women who have said they've walked into a space 
and literally couldn't sit there because the energy was on, right? You don't want that for your girl in, her, in the place where you want her to live and help cultivate your relationship. You don't want tell that the, In this manner, tell her to grow the fuck up. You we walked into a space. It's only me and her in this house. What, 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 you, what bad energy did you sense in this house when you got in here? Get out of here. Cut it out. We could rearrange the place. We could redecorate it. We could put a whole new twist on it. That yeah. Puts a twist on it. You want a project? Hey, here's your project. Get your creativity thing going on and add that to this. You know what I'm saying? But just moving and changing the entire place of your lived being because you're exited. You would be doing that in every relationship if that was the case. No. He's, he's marrying this woman. That's different. It's not okay. every relationship. Let's say some okay. broad he just met on Thursday. He's good getting Listen, all right, all right, all right, but, right. but but before they, they she would have had to had brought this up before he, the engagement and all this other stuff. I mean, like this had to been t- thought well, of and talked well, about before that. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. So when does your woman have enough power to ask you to do something like this? It's only at engagement. <laughs> but if we're dating, that, you don't have enough stroke to ask me nothing like that. It, it all depends on how long y'all been dating. I mean, because, like, you don't wait until engagement time to say, oh, you know what? I mean, spe- I mean, especially if we've already been in this place three, four months, five months, a whole year. Like, that. that's, you should have been brought that up to me. Like, you wasn't feeling comfortable here. Where I could have kind of built up and thought, yeah, okay, maybe it's time. Yeah, maybe I do need to change. You don't hit me with this after engagement time now, so I want to. You, you can't do that. Not to me, nah. Yeah. Right, right. If, if I've been doing our dating stage, if I've been airing it out in this one plot, in this one spot, excuse me, and now all of a sudden, because we get married now, no, you got to change it because those drapes are something that your ex picked out, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> all right, cool. Do that. Change all that up. But we're going to debate. We're going to pause a little bit before we change the entire house situation we gonna just sell this move somehow because you don't your energy level isn't like listen 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 yo energy yeah. energy levels for women is a is a major thing not and true i mean for men they also yeah yeah, yeah. i mean no so it's a good grade of weed for me that's that's like big on my level you know what i mean listen <laughs> what I like the, the question yeah. here is really what would you are you willing to change are you willing to give up anything to make sure your 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 wife? This is his wife because he proposed to her. Yeah. So are you willing mm-hmm. to give up anything to make sure that your wife is happy? That that's the question here, right? I mean, you have to. You have to. I mean, and you this have is just to. an example of that. Right. No, no, no. Example. You not not every. I mean, there's certain things you do have to give up. Right. Absolutely. I, I don't. I don't know if this is something that I'm willing to give up, uh, unless you know it was something that was brought to me. Very, like I said, very early in the relationship, where she felt some sort of way, and. and you know, where it's even nagging on me where I keep hearing her and, you know, but uh, some things you do have to switch up. Uh, you, but you're not, that's one now. I, I can't. Throw those boxes away because those are the boxes that you used to have when you were dating your ex. And I don't want to see that because I like Tommy Hilfiger and she liked Polo. So get rid of all your Polo stuff. Yeah, and, and so my nigga, you gonna sit and fight over some fucking draws? Throw them draws away, get some new ones. <laughs> like, with, with these women, man, you gotta pick your battles, B. Like, that's not a no. battle for me to have. I'm not fighting over no motherfucking underwear. No, I, I'm just, I'm just, I'm being an asshole. Of course. That is- but clearly we all know all three of us know absolutely pick and choose your battles with your mm-hmm. lady. We all yeah. know that we yeah. all pick and choose our battles with our women in yeah. our life. You know what I'm saying? So absolutely. If it was if it was diehard and it was really something that she really was like adamant about, okay, yeah. And I wouldn't like make too much of an argument, but I would defend it down till I couldn't anymore because I would just use examples like, well, do you want me to get rid of this car? Or this and the third? You know what I mean? Like, just, I don't know. You know, I'm all for making your lady happy, yeah. but I'm also cool or uh, uh, not cool with losing yourself, who you are, and making someone else happy. Mm. And putting your own happiness to aside for someone else. 
to because that that whole thing has to be reciprocated on both ends. Yeah, I think that's that's a slippery slope because I think it is part of a successful relationship is putting your person your personal happiness to the side to make sure your spouse is happy. And one of the things I told Fabian when we first got together was, listen, neither one of us will ever go without if I take care of you and you take care of me. So we're yeah. both taken care of. You know what I mean? So it, so it's it's a very slippery slope when someone starts to say, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna value your wants over mine. That's that's some dangerous territory when you're talking about relationships. Yeah, well, it's it's to the apartment. It's a that, that's not something that's just so easy to like change around like that. I, I don't think that's something mm-hmm. easy as boxers or just clothes or just a bag or you know what I'm saying. Like I, th- I just I don't know. That's yeah, but but how far does that sentiment go with the woman when you do offer to do that? That I mean that's all. All of us here when we're dealing with the women, all we're trying to do is put money in our bank. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, you know, right. that's all. We, and this, you doing this, that's a, that's a big deposit, brother. That's a big Huge. deposit, and to show you that I'm a good nigga, that's a that's a gigantic deposit. Yeah, you know what I mean. That bitch better not come back and say not nothing, never. That listen, that that qualifies for every night in this new apartment. The first night, just the top better be just oh, out of this <laughs> world. Okay, uh, Ava Divine status. Yes. Okay. Yes, was, absolutely. Yeah. Google oh, her if you don't know who we're talking about. Google her. Oh. And I'm sorry if you don't know who we're talking about. Your head game ain't where it's supposed to be. Sheesh. <laughs> Sammy, here's what a motherfucking mirror time, brother. Uh, <laughs> I like that. My, 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 my brothers, my brothers. All right. <clears throat> Spur our minds. Time is what we want most, but we use the worst. I, I'll leave you guys with that. Word up. Church. Up. It was great sitting here with you guys. Um, it was a great episode, man. Yeah. Um, <laughs> by the way, the Golden Eagles uh, ended up winning, seventy-three, seventy-eight. I missed the whole game, huh? Yes, yes, she did. Yes, she did. You know, yes, Dina hit the big three to get them out of there. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, we appreciate y'all tuning in. Shout to our brother Ooh. Anthony Hightower. We didn't shout him in the beginning. Of yeah, the show. yeah, 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 yes. Um, but as y'all know, he's doing his college thing right now, so we want to make sure we support him as much as possible. Yeah. So we're gonna carry the brand moving forward until he's able to join us. So we'll salute him. Um, y'all make sure y'all get with us on YouTube. Um, mm-hmm. those subscribes, those likes, follow, are subscribe, yeah, and, and helping us build the brand. So, um, Friday. No, actually, today, we're going to hit y'all with the rap bracket, so make sure y'all jump in there and vote on that. Friday, Maine, <clears> we're going to give them a little something extra for the next bracket. We're going we're gonna to okay. give you some shit um, yeah, that yeah. we think y'all will find funny. Let's see what I did mm-hmm. there. That's cute. That's, you know. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that'll be, that'll be fun. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll do some new shit for Friday. So, um, y'all stay tuned, man. Any parting shots, fellas? Um, real quick, I gotta shout out my home girl Tash Lachey Designs. It's her card. She's on Instagram. Her name is uh, Tashana. Um, I, I, if you want more info on it, and she hooked up the customary uh, spar mines. I got the lighter. Mm, nice. I got the weed. I got the weed container. I got the <laughs> ashtray. Um, and I also got the oh, wow. I got the, the weed plate. plate you got that, the- you, that you break. That you break it up one, two. Damn. <laughs> Bless you. And I got the swarm mines. I got the swarm mines. Nice. Man. And I even got the all fucked up. Oh, as shit. Well. Some double mask in it. What in the up? building. So shout out to my home girl. You know what I mean? Support small businesses. Absolutely. I'm always about that. I'm always for it. I'm a small business owner myself, an entrepreneur. So I'm always about supporting my yeah. fellow. So if you want to holler at me, you want some customized stuff, please holler at this young lady. Her products are dope. Her prices are even better. You know what I'm saying? And even if they weren't, pay what you're worth. You know what I mean? Yeah. Pay for what Definitely yeah. salute that. I, I want to say uh, farewell and rest in peace to my guy, uh, Miguel Torres. Um, 
Uh, I've met Miguel maybe over 20 some years, 22 years now um, at BU. He was actually the guy that took me under his wing uh, and, and made me into a baker, actually. You know, uh, he passed away uh, a couple of days ago to uh, stage four cancer. Yeah. So, you know, I kind of want to, you oh. know, say farewell to him. You know, he was a great guy. Great guy. R.P., bro. R. <clears throat> yeah. R. 40, 46 years old, I think. 45, 45, Jesus. 45. Yeah. He was a year older than I was. Wow. Fuck yeah. cancer, man. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Bro, wow. I think cancer has touched all of us, and I and, uh, mean all of us here, man, in some way, shape, yeah. or form. And, you know, yeah. I'm about to go somewhere else. I'll, I'll try to get us out of here, but, but it's just amazing that in the society that we live in, with all the assets and resources that we got, that we can't cure this one motherfucking thing, man. That's taken so much from us all. Yeah. Real. On that yeah, note, man, this is the Spar Minds crew. You already know, man. This is Charlie Hustle, a.k.a. Charles Jones. Sam Little, Mr. Maritime. Mm, it's the chef. It's the main topic. We out of here, man. Y'all stay yes, happy, so we'll see y'all soon. Yes, sir. High Tower will be back. Uh, High Tower, what up? HT! <laughs>